Prepare to be sick of me. Prepare right now to be sick of me. Hey y'all, what's up and welcome back to another hair video. Today I'm gonna be talking y'all through this install that I did with a V-part unit and girl, she's giving tape ins. She's giving so in, okay. I absolutely love this unit. It is from Nadula Hair. Y'all know Nadula always comes through, baby. She always comes through with the good units, okay. This hair doesn't shed. She's giving me life. I think it's like a yakky texture. I think that's what it's called. Don't quote me, girl. I will leave all of the information in the description box down below. We're living, so let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, y'all. So I'm just gonna, oof, you see this? My stuff is nappy. My hair is nappy. My name Kodak Black, but when you see me, I'm white. I don't even know why I'm deciding to talk through this freaking video because this is not normally how I do my hair videos, my hair content. Y'all know. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, y'all know your girl is a voiceover type of person. But I just decided, you know what, today we're gonna do something a little bit different since this hairstyle isn't gonna take that long anyway. As y'all can hear, sounds like a lot of crunching going on because my roots are reverted. Like, I don't know if you can even see that. It's so disrespectful. I was thinking about blow drying it again, but I kind of just don't want to put no more heat on all of my hair. Since I'm going to be um, re flat ironing in this middle part right here. So I'm just going to section my hair out and then I'm going to uh, blow dry that one section. Also, if you're looking at my background, mind your business. Like I said, I'm just going to section off this little middle piece. Oh, actually, I'm gonna section off some edges in the uh, front as well. Minus swell. This much edge, you feel really, me? That seems like a good amount, All right? I'm sorry if y'all hear my dad in the background. He's cutting the grass. I have really been considering putting a perm on my hair. I don't know how I feel yet. It's been so long since I've had the creamy crack. All right, so now that that's out of the way, I'm just gonna put my hair in four plaits all around. I know y'all are probably tired of seeing this one freaking fingernail broken, but let me tell you something. This nail got broke like two days after I got my nails done. And I just, I was not in the mental space at that time, especially because like I had really, really, really been one of my nails done, like, bitch, I got my nails done. I was feeling good, okay? And then all of a sudden, boom, it got popped. So, needless to say, I was very sad and I never got it fixed. So now we're going on like three weeks. This is a three week old set or something like that. They're still where they once were. Soon, 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 treat yourself. My daddy is really cutting some shit back there, like, hot, so. We're at 10 minutes right now. Y'all know I am not a power braider. Your girl is very much still a beginner. My name Kodak Black, but when you see me, I'm white. Today I'm going for curls because I kind of want those natural, bouncy, big, fluffy curls. And the um, hair that they sent me is similar to my own texture, so I know that is gonna do exactly what I need to be done. So now we're just gonna pull this back, put it in a rubba band, like so. I like to push mine up like this. So I think I'll put a wig cap on just to secure it up. Today we're being sponsored by Nadula Hair. Y'all know they provided me with my last um, V-Part wig and I loved it so much. I absolutely adored it. And so they sent me another one to show off to you guys. So here's what comes in the box. It has this here diamond 
studded or rhinestone studded um, headband. I usually don't keep those. Um, Y'all know I love me a good wig bag. They gave me one wig cap that was freely in here. And then they also sent um, like this, this little baggie of goodies. And y'all, let me tell you something. The lashes they be sending in here, these lashes are some of the best lashes I've ever had, literally. Like, I'm not even joking. So I always take the lashes out and save those. I got some clips in here, another wig cap, and what looks like a tie-down scarf, which this one's kind of cute. So thank you so much to Nodula for sponsoring today's video. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this wig cap on and then I'm gonna show y'all what the actual unit looks like itself. I just kinda want this to sit on the back of my head, you know? Even though I don't have very much of a back of a head, it's just gonna sit right there. So here's the unit. I have worn it before just to see. I didn't like the style that I had it in. It didn't really fit my face well. So this time we're gonna do it a little bit different. The texture is so similar to my real hair. The only thing I wish is I wish I actually took the time to darken this, like to dye it black or like a, a soft black because it will be like the perfect match for my hair. Like you would not even be able to tell this is a wig. And the only way you can tell it's a wig right now is because of the color. So if you do get this unit, dye it the color of your hair and literally thrive. I'm gonna put the back comb on first and then I'm gonna pull it forward. And I've, I've been finding that it's really important to get this middle comb back here on. So I'm gonna put that middle comb on, lay that down. Thank you. And then we're gonna go for these side combs over here because you just don't want it to show whenever you're like doing your regular you know, regular life thing. So, and what I also love about these uh, units is that they are super big head friendly. And now I'm gonna go in from the back to the front. Y'all, this hair smells so good. I got perfume on it. <laughs> now this front comb can be a little bit annoying. So definitely play with it and figure out, you know, like the placement that you would want it. But it'd be funny acting, I'm not gonna lie to you. So now, <laughs> as you can see, <laughs> We have on the unit. It is so secure. This is this is actually really secure. So now I'm gonna go ahead and undo my leave outs. You can't tell me. You can't tell me. You cannot. Literally, I'm looking at the, uh, the viewfinder right here. You can't tell me this is not my real hair. It's almost the same length and everything. It's just a little bit lighter. Now I'm gonna go ahead. <laughs> I'm about to apply this Design Essentials Thermal Protecting Cream to my natural hair because you know we still don't necessarily want heat damage major key major key and this is before blow drying because we're gonna blow dry it so now y'all are gonna go on mute because i have to blow dry this So now they're all blow dried. We're blow dried. Today we're gonna be using my one inch iron from Ion. I will leave it linked down below. I love Ion products. I have the Ion flat iron here. I really need to go ahead and get another one because this one is starting to get a little bit old. But the flat iron and the curling iron, they heat up so fast. Watch, I'm gonna show y'all in real time. I'm gonna put this mug on 360. It's on 360. Is ready. Let me know how y'all like this too. Like, do y'all like me talking to y'all while I'm installing, or do y'all just want me to talk to y'all, you know what I'm saying, as a voiceover? Let me know in the comments down below because I'm just trying to figure out what the girls want from me. I'm just gonna tap on these roots real quick. Boom. Bitch. <laughs> and that was just a tap. I just tapped on the roots. Period. It looks as if what? It is coming from the sky. 
scout they man y'all see how the color difference is right here i'm looking at my viewfinder but this is why i wish i would have dyed it black i just used the um ion this is the one stroke flat iron like i said i'll leave everything that i'm using linked down below including my design essentials um heat protector y'all if y'all ever hear my leather <laughs> i have like this leather little seat that i'm sitting on don't think I'd be farting in here, okay? It's it's just the leather, sis. It's the leather. I have some of those clips in my little drawer. I'm just gonna secure it with that. Y'all, these clips they be sending in them boxes are the truth. They have like these little band-aids in the middle or like these little plastic things. And it keeps your hair from moving. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish curling my hair off camera and then I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup and then I'm gonna come right back. Girl, y'all was almost late to the party. I started taking down the curls and everything, and I forgot to turn y'all on. They look so good. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, yes, bitch, yes. Y'all, this is so stinking pretty. You don't even understand. Bitch. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Is this a sewing? or tape ends because I cannot. So now I'm gonna take my pink hair shine a little bit. Mm. Prepare to be sick of me. Prepare right now to be sick of me. Let's do our edges and we'll be done. Yeah, yeah, no. No, obsessed is an understatement, literally. I'm gonna use some of this um, edge booster. This is the little pink one. I don't really use edge control very often, so I never got like a big one, you know what I'm saying? But this one's pretty good, it's pretty good. Come on. <laughs> if y'all are looking to take a little break from frontals or y'all are tired of your closures or even if you just want something new I definitely suggest trying this wig out I love it so much it does not shed very much it blends perfectly with my hair like mm -hmm. mm. well guys this is the final look I hope y'all really enjoyed this video Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I'm about to go and feel myself a little bit. Gonna get dressed and I will see y'all in the next video.